What's happening guys back at you with another video and in this video I'm going to be going over the top five San Diego Comic Cons pops that are in my collection. So let's get to it. Alright, just about a month ago, uh, San Diego Comic Con happened, or as they like to call it now, Virtual Con number three, as Funko put it. So basically, uh, I wanted to put this video together. I usually do like every year pretty much a top five video after San Diego Comic Con uh, for, you know, the top overall pops that came out during San Diego Comic Con, like the exclusives and all that. So again, this year, doing the same thing, going to be able to pick the top five. San Diego Comic Con exclusive Funko Pops for my collection. So this is just top five. Like this is like just overall like design, which ones I like and stuff like that. You know, just different factors put in together to make up this top five. So let's go ahead and start with an honorable mention. All right, so an honorable mention I put in this uh, top five is going to be from San Diego Comic Con 2018. We got from Dragon Ball Z. We got Broly, Super Saiyan Broly right here now this is definitely a cool pop this was definitely one of my top ones from that year at the con uh so cool such a cool pop i like the details of the hair like always the uh, funko does a pretty good job with anime characters hair as i always mentioned before in other videos and just the overall design of this uh character was pretty cool and i like the character mm -hmm. too so i definitely had to put this one in the top five as at least an honorable mention at least you know so as an honorable mention i went ahead and went with super saiyan broly here but let's go ahead and get into the actual top five starting with number five All right, so at number five is uh, a set, like pretty much a whole wave or a set, as you could say, came out last year during uh, 2019 San Diego Comic Con. Uh, they released this whole wave, I believe exclusive to Walmart. I believe the whole wave was exclusive to Walmart. Uh, so this was definitely an entire set, entire wave that I wanted to get. I definitely wanted to get this entire set, an entire wave. But I have to say one of the best ones from that line, in my opinion, one that's like has good design, um, one that kind of made me laugh actually uh, when I saw it. I gotta go with uh, Raj dressed as uh, Aquaman. So the uh, Big Bang Theory from the Big Bang Theory um, in the one episode where it's like the Halloween episode, they're all dressed up as the Justice League. Um, I gotta say uh, that was a pretty funny episode. I remember watching that one. But um, they all pretty much dressed up as a member of the Justice League. The Raj, Raj had to be one of the funniest dressed up as Aquaman. So I gotta say that was pretty funny to see him, and then this is pretty cool how they did this. The whole wave, a uh, whole set released during one uh, Comic Con, and then uh, Raj being actually one of the best uh, design, probably the, the funniest one too. Just the overall detail on him, the uh, actual wig he's wearing, uh, with the actual details of the strands of hair, the orange and green suit he's wearing, and he's riding a seahorse. I gotta say that's the funny thing. Uh, this overall pop is kind of funny, and. Uh, the this design is pretty good on it so like i gotta say at number five i'm going with raj as aquaman but well, let's go ahead and get on to number four All right, so at number four, this is one from 2018. San Diego Comic Con, this one I gotta say was definitely uh, one that was probably gonna be on my list. Uh, just the overall detail, just the overall design of this pop uh, is pretty amazing. I gotta say Funko really, uh, really outdid themselves on this pop with the details, design and all that. So at number four, I went with the Mark I Iron Man from the first Iron Man movie from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I gotta say, this is 
based on design based on the details of this pop they are amazing this is what like put it in the top five for me on the top five list that's what did it design detail everything like this this pop is so so cool it was actually one of my top ones from that con i remember uh looking at it and seeing it and thinking i really want to get that one it looks so cool overall design and details of this pop are amazing i gotta say and uh it's iron man you know a lot of people like iron man so definitely pretty cool pop i gotta say but uh this is what i have at number four let's go ahead and get on to number three Alright, so at number three, we're taking it back to 2017 San Diego Comic Con. This one still remains one of my favorite San Diego Comic Con pops in my collection. One of my favorites uh, in the series of Harry Potter. So I gotta say, uh, this one's definitely pretty cool. So from Harry Potter, we got Harry Potter himself on the broom. So this one's for 2017 San Diego Comic Con. Uh, still remains one of my favorite Harry Potter pops in the collection. Uh, I definitely like the design of this one. They did release a previous Harry Potter with his broom before this one, but he was just standing still and he had he was holding the broom to the side like that. Uh, so basically, they uh, one upped it and they decided to put him on the broom. So I gotta say, this is definitely pretty cool. Uh, one of the things I like watching in movies was always the Quidditch scenes. So this one was epic. Uh, Belief from the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, the Quidditch scene in there was pretty cool. The way you see Harry flying and for the first time in the Quidditch game and then him being a seeker so he has to go after the snitch and then seeing him fly around and you see him trying to go for a snitch and you finally get that final scene where he's about to grab the snitch and all that. So this is definitely pretty cool. I like this one the way it is and just the overall this is a well designed pop and I gotta say give it up to Funko for this one. So this is what I have at number three. Let's go ahead and get on to number two. So at number two, this is going to be from this past San Diego Comic Con 2020. Y'all knew this was going to be on the list. I'm sure y'all did. Uh, this was pretty much a no-brainer for me. Uh, getting it in the hand and looking at the overall design of it was definitely a no-brainer for me to put it into the top five. So at number two, we have Super Saiyan God Goku from Dragon Ball Super. Y'all knew this was going to be in the top five. This is such an awesome fire pop. No pun intended because of the fire on there. But still it was still an awesome pop i gotta say the overall design of this pop was amazing uh the way he's like jumping or like kind of like in a lunging position uh pose kind of with the fire in the background but the fire is also used as a stand which is so cool that's cool how they incorporate that too into a stand and then the overall form of this one being super saiyan god you know like a lot of people don't have like the original one and then funko releases this one and gave people a second chance Although this one was definitely hard to get, I do know that, but like it still gave people a chance who missed out on the original one. So I gotta say this was definitely one of my favorites from this year, uh, this past uh, San Diego Comic Con. And still, I gotta say it is gonna be one of my favorites uh, for a while, you know, for San Diego Comic Con pops and probably in the Dragon Ball Z collection is probably gonna remain one of my favorites, I gotta say. So at number two, we have Super Saiyan God, Goku. Let's go ahead and get on to number one.
All right, so at number one, we come to the number one top spot for top five San Diego Comic Cons pops in my collections. Y'all knew that this was probably going to be on the list too. This was definitely no brainer for me once I saw it. Uh, overall design, detail, just everything about this pop just capoed it to number one. And I gotta say, it's literally one of my favorites. It was almost pretty much my favorite from this year from San Diego Comic Con. And I just didn't like it so much. And it's probably going to be remain one of my favorites for a while uh, in uh, the collection. So, a number one spot from My Hero Academia, we got Katsuki Bakugo here. Man, this is such an awesome pop, I gotta say. Such an awesome pop. The overall design, the overall details of this pop, the way he just, the pose and just, you know, just the design of this pop is so awesome. The details on the hair, like I always say, Funko always does a good job with anime characters' hair. It's amazing detail. We got him in his full hero costume. Uh, looks amazing the way he's using his quirk, the explosions, the fire, and then the way he's like in a jumping pose and then have like the fire acting as a stand on the bottom, which is so cool. And just overall design of this pop is so amazing, I gotta say. So design, my, being one of my favorites and just overall details and all that stuff, that's what catapulted it to a number one spot for me. And it's definitely gonna remain one of my favorites for a while in the collection. Um, I know this was definitely a hard one to get, so I just got to be thankful that I was able to get one. And um, this is amazing. This is amazing pop, I got to say. Amazing pop. So, at number one spot, we got Kotsky Bakugo from My Hero Academia. Alright guys, so that was the top five Funko Pops from San Diego Comic Con in the year. That was pretty much all the years right there that I've been collecting. So, I got to say, uh, definitely hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below what y'all think are the top five San Diego Comic Con pops that y'all have in your collection or what are they overall if they're not in your collection what do you think are the top five overall from any year I definitely would like to know so let me know down in the comments below but that was going to do it for this video hope y'all enjoyed it remember if you want to be a part of Team Legendary all you got to do is subscribe and turn notifications on so you know I'm posting our video hope y'all have an awesome day and remember be legendary